Yeah, Chesley, I mean, this is a terrible scene right now in the downtown connector, folks. We want to give you a red alert. This is happening right now. Please, if you have to travel anywhere through the midtown or downtown area or have anyone who needs to head that way, please pay attention here. This is a live look at the connector southbound right near William Street. If you're heading off towards Centennial Olympic Park, as you can see at the bottom of your screen there, it is a jackknife tractor trailer. Another vehicle looks like it is caught almost in the middle of the cab and the trailer itself. There is more activity activity off to the left of this and what they're doing is shutting down the connector southbound and I mean they're closing it till what we're hearing from G dot one o'clock this afternoon. That's an hour and a half from now. All lanes are blocked. As you can see, traffic is absolutely backed all the way up beyond I-85 and I-75. It's just going to be a place you need to avoid. Now, we also have more flooding reported. 20 westbound near 285 over in Fulton County, along with Rex on I-20 westbound at MLK and 285. You can see those delays coming up the west side perimeter. More flooding on the 285 eastbound ramp to Buford Highway, but a little bit of good news there. They have just opened up that ramp. Folks, once again, a live look. The connector southbound at William Street. Avoid the downtown connector southbound until at least 1 p.m. Now let's show you some incredible video we shot earlier. This was the scene on I-85 southbound near Jimmy Carter Boulevard this morning. Heavy rain from Fred causing flooding in the three left lanes there, the four right lanes actually, for about an hour. You can see the cars still speeding through those very dangerous conditions. GDOT cleared the drains and now all lanes on I-85 southbound are back open. And as we mentioned, 285 eastbound, the ramp to Buford Highway was closed with what we were calling Lake Norcross. It was that much water. We spoke with Natalie Dale from GDOT. Been on the downtown connector. Um, certainly a lot of a lot of congestion comes through there, which means a lot of trash um, goes through there. Signs on the side of the road that can easily be swept up into the system. We pull things out like hubcaps um, that can back up. All right, remember, avoid that downtown connector southbound at William Street. We'll update you at 11alive.com.